on our farm, we utilize a lot of rack and bag culture, which is the primary um, production method for the majority of our oysters that we sell through the year. However, there's a certain percentage of the crop that I plant exclusively on the sediment on the bottom. And those are typically our slower growing animals that I let be for half a season or more. And we start harvesting those later in the year. They tended to have a, a thicker shell. They have more of a minerality to them. And those are the oysters that we use for the stout this time around. The traditional oyster stout was actually a, it was a low alcohol, it was a very dark stout, but you didn't put oysters in it. That was what you paired with oysters. So once you put the oysters in, definitely that mineral, you know, briny, kind of like clean ocean character shines through because it does add some salt. You also get zinc, which is great for uh, fermentation. And calcium, which is just, you know, helps everything, flavor and fermentation. Way back when I was home brewing, uh, so I went to a school where we tasted wine and uh, I really fell in love with the idea that minerals from the ground can make their way up into the grapes which go into the wine. I just think that's really interesting. You know, the true like wines that I love are really distinct and you can tell that's where they're from. And oyster growers call it meroir, so it's like a terroir but for the oysters. Even though they're buying seedlings from the same place, they're putting them somewhere and it's the uh, salinity of the water, the temperatures, the you know what grows over there. It's pretty magical stuff. <laughs> We had sort of a kinship where it was a small company and uh, spends most of his time, you know, selling his oysters and, and talking them up and, and we kind of got along that way because we do the same thing with our beer. It's a great experience um, because you get to see firsthand people enjoying the oysters. You know, we, we don't want the Chatham Oyster to just be a generic oyster on, the, on a menu. You know, we want people to see the the name and recognize it for the quality that we strive to achieve and ultimately for people to enjoy. You know, that's really why we grow the oysters.